the dog who owned a dam. The Hoover Dam mascot only acted as if he owned the dam, but without a doubt, he owned the hearts of its workers. The dog wandered freely around the job site, up ladders, over catwalks, and through tunnels. He even rode the open-air elevator, called a skiff, and would bark at the operator when he wanted to get off. Political correctness did not occur to the men of the time, and they called the dog Nig. Just as the men did, Nig arrived on the transport that brought workers from Boulder City where they stayed. When the end of day whistle blew, Nig, too, lined up at the elevators to leave with the men. But Nig was happy with just about any type of conveyance and sometimes hopped aboard the train servicing the area. Nig was also a dog about town. When the men got back to Boulder City in the evening, Nig could supplement his diet from the townspeople who would sometimes feed him candy, ice cream, and other treats. At one point, Nig became quite ill from his bad diet, and a notice was put into the newspaper by the town doctor. I love candy, but it makes me sick. It is also bad for my coat. Please don't feed me anymore. Your friend, Nig. On February 21st, 1941, it was unseasonably hot, and Nig looked for shade under an idling truck. Sadly, the driver was unaware that Nig had crawled under the rig, and as the driver moved away from the site, Nig was crushed beneath the truck's wheels. A newspaper wrote, rough, tough, rock-hard men wept openly and unashamed. He was buried in a concrete crypt near the Nevada abutment and memorialized with a plaque identifying him as a dog that adopted a dam. This is a gravesite of a dog that followed the workers around and was, um, went from uh, work camp to work camp and ended its life by sleeping under a truck which ran over him. So the workers constructed this gravesite for him.